Yeah. Oh. Well, I got my birthday present early. Ah, oh, you like it? Yep. Same will do for Christmas and all. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Trouble getting down the chimney? <laughs> I wanted to finish the kitchen. Never mind. It is finished. No thanks to you, you could have helped. What do I look like, an elf? Anyway, it is my birthday. Any happy returns. Now help me clear up before your mother... Before I what? Oh, Merry <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> Merry ah, Christmas. Sorry about the mess. I want it to look perfect for you. <laughs> you finished the tumble. <laughs> it's the tumble marble. But it costs a Nah, much. not if you're in the trade, no. Anyway, it's a Christmas present. Talking of which... No excuses for dinner being late now. <sighs> you shouldn't have. It's beautiful. It's Christmas. You can't push the boat out today. Happy mm. birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear. What's his name? Yeah, all right. I get the message. No, no. What's my coming of age next to wall tiles and a flash watch? <laughs> Happy birthday, Dave. Whoa! Oh, I can't believe you're 18. A responsible adult. Mm -hmm. That'll be the day. You can do all sorts now. Vote. Serve on a jury. Actually, I can't with my record, but I can legally get ratted, legally tattooed, visit both kinds of pawn shop, uh, gamble. Yes, the world certainly is my oyster, all right. My debut trifle. What do you think? Oh, hundreds of thousands. Very appropriate. One minute you're scratching your backside, and now it's marble tiles and designer watches. She liked them. That's all that counts. I think your bank manager might say different. <sighs> Get, Gail thinks the world of you. You don't have to play I'm not bit. playing anything. It's Christmas Day. It is the one day of the year you can put everything out there to one side. It's a precious time. Don't spoil it, eh, love? Yeah! <laughs> you can have it. Oh. <laughs> How's the wine? Yeah, it's fine. Really compliments the turkey. Which is more than anybody else has done. Oh, I'm sorry, Gail. It's gorgeous. It, it really is. <laughs> So was he. <laughs> no, I wasn't. In fact... Oh, no, no speeches. Quick, shove a turkey slag in his car. <laughs> unaccustomed as I am. Well, actually, um... I, uh, I am unaccustomed to this. Spending this, this very special day with the people I love. He's going. <laughs> I don't apologise. It's times like this you get a bit of clarity. Realise what's truly important. And it's vital you hang on to that when other things come along to knock you. Um, what, I'm, what I mean is, um, this, this is what life's about. And all the rest is just, uh, is just froth. To the most wonderful people I have ever met. I'm coming so you better get this party started. What the hell do you think you're doing? We're here for the party. Afternoon, you said. Yeah, after lunch, I meant. You said instead of, we could have gone round to your mother's with Gary. I, I thought you were a Buffy. I've got, I've got the wrong end of the stick. Well, now you've got the right end. See you later. Uh, we've no in. Instead of making dinner, I've spent all morning making stuff for your do. Perhaps we could park ourselves on your sofa, Gail, and have a pick at these to keep our hunger at bay until the party. Why don't you just go home? No. Join us. With plenty of food, I'll get some plates and cutlery. Gail, no! This is what Christmas is all about, helping one's neighbour. <laughs> Bring for Littland. You look a bit pushed for space. I'll have mine over here on the tree. Have you got the remote control, Andy? Mm. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas! Come in, come in, let me take your coats. Okay. You had a nice day? Lovely. How's Gail doing? Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas. Um, is Gary here? 
Is that his grand's love? He'll pop in later. I'll fix you a drink. Oh. Well, it's first getting cocky with me, I swear. I won't be responsible. That's exactly what you'll be, because you're the bigger man. <laughs> I can manage. I'm not having it. Gary Wind, I see her. No way. So what are you going to do? Cause a scene? Ruin another Christmas? See what they're doing? This is meant to be his birthday, our day. Nobody wants him here. They are here. So grin and bear it. I am. I'm really melting your mouth, these valabants. <laughs> I've got to go and get another one. Cheers. <laughs> You all right? Yeah, gotta be. It's Christmas Day. You, uh, you said anything to your missus? No. You, uh, you talk to Gail. Oh, and spoil the whole day, you know. I need all the comfort and joy that's going right now. I'll get it. We'll keep it to yourself. Ah, it's your business. But if I was you, I'd say something. I'll do. Seconds out, round one. Hey, love. Yeah, no. oh. Hey, this kind of scanning kitchen. I never thought you were going to get here. I cannot stop thinking. Right, any chance of a beer? I'm spitting feathers here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll go and get you one. All right, pops. <laughs> Ignore him, Kevin. I think the atmosphere's just took a turn for the worst. Oh, no, sorry about that, love. You know what I'm like after I've had sprouts. No, the mood idiot. Nip home and get their presses pronto. Oh. So you got any plans New Year's Eve? Not yet, no. I was talking to the lady. No, I know a lot of dormant in town, so we can get in most places, like. Oh, could we? Great. <laughs> you not got a cold one? Yeah, yeah, I'll go and see. So what you get a girlfriend this Christmas? A squeaky toy. What girlfriend? I'm young, free and single, me. Got an eye on someone, though. He's treating her like a dog. I feel like walking over there and sticking Calm his down. camp. Victor Bush, please! First of all, we, we'd like to thank Gail and Joe for your hospitality. And as a token of our goodwill, we'd like to give you these, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah, that's for you. Thank you. A tool belt? <laughs> Is this a joke? Well, if you saw it, be handy like. You steal me tools, you take me livelihood away, and you give me a tool belt. Yeah, it's very kind of you, Anna. Thank you. David, put some more music on. I'll side with that. Fine. Fancy one. I don't smoke. Who said out about smoking? You know where I am. Oh, no. David! Leave him alone, you tart. What? I said outside. <laughs> you want to be careful, pal. Because your face is writing checks that your fist can't cash right now. Look, just leave Tina you alone, all right? She's not interested. Does she say that? Because she's telling me something different. What? I know women. You want to upgrade. And she's aching for it, mate. Fine. I'm going to have her. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, and when we're talking about freaks, I'm not the one who ate out of the kidnapper twice my age. No! Hey, 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 hey! Back in here, you shit! Back in here! Back in here! Everybody out! Now! Shut that great flapping mouth. All I wanted was a bit of breathing space. One day, a relative peace and sanity with me family. But no, you had to turn it into a free-for-all. You barging and take over, talking, talking, talking about nothing. Less than nothing. I'm not finished. Nobody here can stand the sight of you, any of you. And I don't want you here. Now, tomorrow, ever. So sling it up. Well, if that's how you feel, I'll be taking on my volivants. Oh, you can have a mate with my blessing. <laughs> There you are. How about some mini Scott Jigs and all? Hey, go! Put your nut up! Stop it! Yeah, yeah. You've been a bit peckish and all, eh? That's it. Junior's got the right idea. You want some more, do you? 
come on. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Let you go! Who am I supposed to be was locking up? Come on. Come on. Uh, I think it's time we went and all. You, oh. You know where we are. Thanks for the buffer. All that about. I warned you what would happen. Over and over. I knew they'd ruin things. They'd ruin things? This has nothing to do with a wind assist. You were out of control, Joe. I didn't recognize you. You frightened me. I wanted today to be perfect, to be everything I know we could be. Could have been. But sometimes just wanting something isn't enough, is it? Too many other things get in the way. Tell me what it is. Everything. Nothing. That's the worst part. I'm sorry. Joe? Joe, wait. You all right? Where are you going? I'm sorry. I can't. It's not fair. Dad! Don't, don't go! What? News travels fast? Look, I've just been in the shop and Norris told me that Sal had been in and said, well, there was a bit of a do kicked off here yesterday. Do you want half a dozen dead volivants for your bird table? Well, at least there's one good thing, I suppose. Uh, you've seen his true colours now, haven't you? Who's? Joe's! Is that your opinion or Norris's? Do you want me to stop here with you? Strangely enough, ma'am, I can look after myself. Audrey! Oh, oh. hi, Fizz. Day yesterday. I've just seen Maria. Oh, how is she? What? She's saying that Tony's been threatening her. What? Yeah, probably because she's embarrassed because she really kicked off yesterday at the time of the trial. Yesterday, yeah. isn't it? Because she found flowers on Liam's grave from Carla and Tony. So now she's saying he's threatened her so she feels Have they tried to find a decent florist to open on Boxing Day? Cemetery is usually a good bet. <laughs> I'd be tempted to dig a hole and climb in. I mean, don't get me I feel so. Dear, all these accusations she's made. Thirsty? I am the first to know how it feels when no one would. Exactly. I don't like it. Is it be true? I mean, with Maria, this is all just grief, isn't it? Mm. Oh, hello. She's yeah. looking. I'll go over there. I'm coming over. Come down. Good luck. Yeah, that's your later fit. I should have grouted Grey. You weren't to know that it would be mushroom volivant that hit the town. Might have been prawn. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> nice bouquet. Didn't know your flat had a garden. I bought some. I've been doing a lot of driving. I passed an old lady selling in a garden this morning. Oh, yeah? On my life. I'm not a liar. And I'm not a kick-off merchant either. I don't behave like I did yesterday, I swear. All night I've been thinking what I must have looked like to you. You don't know me well enough I to be able... I hope I see it again. You won't. I don't know. I do know that up until now, 
You've been the only one in this ridiculous kitchen nonsense that hasn't smashed anything. Or any one hope. And you've been provoked more than once. Thank you. I want to say, I believe it was a one-off. But? I've been wrong about men before. Not this time. I'll prove it to you, I promise. I'm sorry. If I was str Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, to be 18 and legal. What shall I have? Shut up, you. Not everyone needs booze to have a good time, you know? Not when there's such a wide range of recreational drugs available. <laughs> oh, kidding. Blimey, why'd you neck it? Mm, check out Windy. All right, Bozo, where'd you learn to do that? Clown College. You want to come here and say that, Pee Wee? Right. Both of you. First on last warning. I don't want any trouble tonight, right? Uh, did you hear her? Yeah, you know. Right. right. Why don't you get those girls a nice drink? What time are we going to this party, Bamba's mate? Uh, I don't know. Daryl said he's got some stuff to do first. So, do you want another one? I want to go to the party where we can have a proper drink. Give him a ring then, shall I? All right, gorgeous. Oh, don't start. Who's starting? Just thought you might want your uh, OJ livened up a bit. You all right, sir? Oh, come on, it's New Year's Eve. That's your thing, isn't it? Getting young lasses drunk. Dad, I've already said no. Joe, no, stop Easy, it. Easy, man. Blimey, you're trying to a neighbour a favour. Just do one, eh? You're not welcome here. It didn't seem that way to me. I've got the address off Daryl, so he just said we'd meet him there. 